Hello everybody. I'm going to teach you how to affix a piece of cordage to your bow drill today and the best knots to do so. Um, first off I'll just show you this piece of wood I selected for my bow. You can see it's got a nice curve to it. You can also use a straight one but the curve makes it a little bit easier. And this length of this piece of wood is about from the palm of my hand to my armpit. And I'm going to teach you how to tie a couple of hitches today. One is the clove hitch and the half hitch. And a hitch is basically a knot that is used to affix a piece of cordage to an object. And today we're going to be affixing this piece of parachute cord to our bow drill. Some knot terminology that's useful is the running end. That's this uh, short end right now with the end of the rope visible. That's going to be our running end and then that long strip running all the way down to the floor there that's going to be called the standing end and the other kind of things that I'm going to uh, use to help describe building a hitch is the overhand loop and the underhand loop and an overhand loop is when you take the standing end and flip it over the running end and that is an overhand loop this is the running end over the standing end. And the underhand loop is when you take the standing end and flip it over the running end. And that is called an underhand loop. All right, so to build um, a clove hitch, there's multiple ways to do it, but the way I'm going to teach you right now is to do an underhand loop to start and I'm holding this uh, standing end in my left hand and I'm flipping uh, the piece, the running end in my right hand over the standing end and creating one loop, one underhand loop and then I'm going to do another underhand loop and I'm going to pass my second underhand loop under my first loop and that creates a clove hitch so I have basically these two loops stacked on top of each other, an underhand loop, and then a second underhand loop passed under the first one. And I'm going to place the end of my stick through there, and then I'm just going to pull these two ends, both the standing and the running end, and get them to slide down and cinch up on this hitch. And so you see what happens is that both the running end and the standing end get trapped inside of that hitch. And it's the more you pull on it, the tighter it actually gets on the stick. And then we're going to build one more half hitch on top of this just to give it some extra security. And so this one, since this is the running end passing through here, when it comes out here too, we're still going to call that the... Um, the running end and so this one is going to be a underhand loop or an overhand loop now actually sorry an overhand loop and then I'm going to pass that over the hole of this knot and cinch it down and that's just going to make this really fixed and strong and then when we pull taut on this you can see it just gets tighter and tighter off the end. So now we're getting to the other end of our bow. And just for clarity's sake, I'm going to switch running end and standing end now because we have a new tip to work with. And so what we're going to do to start here is going to build an underhand loop now. And you'll see how that standing end gets trapped under this first half hitch. And I'm just going to pass it right over and then grab it and you can see what happens is we can grab this end and kind of pull on it a little bit and it pulls the bowstring taut and holds it the tautness that we want and we can you know with experiment we'll know exactly how much we want when building a bow drill so and then we'll come back to this end and build a second underhand loop and pass it over the top right on top this time 
And you'll see that's the way to build a clove hitch stacking two half hitches on top of each other. And so there's a clove hitch. And it's fixed. And there's my old dog bumping into the tripod. He's 17 years old. And then this is a third underhand loop making a half hitch. And I'm going to pass that over the whole knot and to fix that down. And then when you make your, your fire, you can just hold this end and you have a very strong attachment system here. And you don't need to carve any notches to hold it because these hitches are super strong. So my dog's taking down the media. So good luck with this and post up if you have any questions. I'll try to help you out. Or if I need a more clarifying video, let me know.